Now I want you to watch this. Any four people at these four yellow cones. Let's go. In 10, 9, 8, yeah, 7, 6, here you go. Here you go. A square, yeah, the four, yeah, the four cones. So watch this now, right? You've got that ball, and you've got that ball. Now watch, watch closely. Come in around them and watch them. Watch what they're doing. So we're going clockwise with the ball. Amazing how many people when you tell them to go clockwise now that it's amazing, hasn't it changed? Yeah. Digital age. So just in case you don't know, clockwise. So the two footballs, where's the second one? Okay, just give him a bit of space because that's coming down that channel. So stand at the cone, ready? Clockwise, go, as fast as you can. Fast as you can, move the ball. Okay, and stop. So, what did you spot? Are they protecting the ball? Go and do it again. Go, pass on. Okay, he's not protecting the ball. Go, he's not protecting the ball. He's protecting the ball. Do you see the difference? Do you? So, use the outside hand. Because when I come in in the game, I can get to here. I can't get to there, okay? So there's a hell of a difference. Now you watch, you could go the length and breadth of the country and you'd see a simple hand pass and exercise and nobody's pulling it. That's coaching. That's a drill. But coaching is picking up the things that are gonna make them better when they move on. Isn't that what coaching is? That's what we're supposed to do. Ready? Outside hand, go. Protect the ball, outside hand. Let's go, move it, good. Now that's completely different now. That is a completely different exercise, okay? Stop, good. The four of you, that's your line there from yellow to yellow, so stand in the middle, okay? Stand in the middle here. That's your line from yellow to yellow, stand in the middle there. Yours, yellow to yellow, yours, yellow to yellow. Can I have two people, any two people, in the middle? One football, that's your football. Two lads, right, just drop that. Now you guys, are gonna move that ball around the grid with the two lads trying to stop you, all right? You have two hands and you have two feet. If the ball hits the ground, whoever makes it hits the ground go in and one of them comes out, okay? Now remember, we're working on complex skills, two hands, two feet, that means I should be able to turn this way and the other, and I'll show you a tackling exercise in a minute that'll make you turn better. Go. What direction? Any direction you want. The ball can't hit the ground, good. Good. Yep, yep, yep. Good. And stop. Okay. Now, he got away with it. You may not have seen it, but as the player came to him here, he used that hand. What he needed to do was that, okay, to protect it. Now, it's nothing here. It doesn't matter here. It'll matter on Sunday when somebody goes to take the ball off you. That matters, okay? So, if we made that grid bigger, we'd bring the foot pass into it. And all of a sudden we have little dummies been used, right? And it's brilliant. Now they're small little fun things that they get a massive amount of enjoyment out of, but their skill set's improving. Now watch this next one. I have to bring some of the old timers in for this. This is nice and stationary. So can I have four people at the four counts? Come on, let's go. Somebody that can't move, go to the four yellow counts, right? Four people that can't move. And then two people who can move in the middle. Oh, you need me there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, someone else? In the middle. In the middle, yeah. And then I need one more. Oh, we've got two. You're out. <laughs> You're at the yellow cone. So, you need a ball. You need a ball. And one of you need a ball. Okay, so you've won. Do you remember these? Remember these tackling exercises? We all did them, right? So, who's getting the ball and who's tackling? Oh, very good. I've got the ball. Okay, so you're getting the ball. Now, listen to this. Every time he uses his sternum, a near hand tackle, okay, a shoulder, a hip, it's a scar. If he stops him from going where he wants to go with the ball, it's a scar. If you use the wrong hand, so he comes in to tackle, look, and goes like this, right? It's a free, or sorry, it's a point against you, a minus point, okay? If you put your hand on his back, even if he doesn't fall, it's a minus point, all right? And your job is to get the ball to the player who doesn't have one each time. Ready? Oh, you're getting the ball, yeah, okay. So every time you get a ball, you have to give it to the free player. You can get the ball from any of the three other corners. We all did this exercise growing up. Go.
<laughs> okay, and stop. What's he getting to tackle in this exercise? What's he getting to tackle? Is he getting to tackle the ball? No, what's he getting to tackle? So that's what we trained for 40 years, that exercise. We trained how to fell. And the fucking harder you hit them, the better the exercise was. We all came up with that, didn't we? Okay, watch this. Get another football, give him another ball. Okay, so you're going to count the numbers of times he touches one of the four sides of the grid. So if there's the imaginary line, okay? That's a score, okay? That's a score. You can't touch the same line consecutively. Is that understood? Your job, near hand, sternum, delay, hip, shoulder, okay? Every time he uses his hip, his shoulder, near hand tackle, turns him away from where he wants to go, he gets the score. You got that? If he dispossesses the ball, you must allow him time to get the ball back up in his hands. He must always have two balls in his hand, okay? If you solo right, your next action has to be a bounce on the left or a solo on the left. If you bounce left or solo left, your next action has to be on your right hand side. So the defender knows he's an advantage in this. Okay, ready? Let him get the ball back up, let's go. Remember, near hand, chest, shoulder, hip. Good, and again, give him the ball back. Good, and another good tackle, getting the ball back. Oh, lovely steal. Good, let's go. Okay, and stop. Do you see the difference between that and the other one? So, technically you're improving the tackle by that. That's completely different, right? So, what we found out very quickly, Dermot Connolly, who was obviously quite adept at both sides, right? But his stronger side is still his right, even though he kicks quite a lot off his left. But what we found was, he was protecting this side, turning that side. So when he went into a game, he did the same thing. He turned immediately onto his weaker side. Now he's now throwing the defender that way, and he's coming back onto his strong side. Now, I know he's able to score off both sides, but do you understand the skill that came out of it? And that came right throughout the group, that all of a sudden they were now turning off their left, the weaker side, not their left side, their weaker side, right? And in a game, that's what they did. They and then back on this side, right? And obviously, I mean, now at the top level, it's almost unheard of that you hear of a fella on his weaker side. They tend not to have a weaker side. They tend to be almost, the distance may not be as far, but they're able to execute the skill, okay?